Well, come along, Snooks. We'll try to make ourselves presentable for the great Charles Harding Blair. While you're at it, you might glance through those books on the table. Books? Yes, Mr. Blair's books. He wrote them. The very least you can do is glance through them so you'll have some basis for dinner table conversation. Oh, Vera, this is going too far. It is not. Hmm. Read me about China. Very well, I'll just read something at random. All right. Traveling in our little skiff down the Yangtze River, we suddenly came upon a large building. The reader will never guess what it was. Maybe it was a Yangtze Stadium. (laughs) Very funny. Yeah, I'm funny. (laughs) Do you mind if I continue reading? Please do. Very well. The reader will never guess what it was. Although Oolong, my number one boy, made a feeble pun about the building, saying it might be the Yangtze Stadium. Very funny. Read me some more. All right. Africa the Mysterious. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3. Yes. Although it was pitch dark out, I suddenly called a halt as I instinctively realized we had reached the banks of the Nyaza River. We struck camp early the following day and made our way down the Niaza to Ngagi in the Fata region. What's the matter, Daddy? Nothing. That's what it says here. Oh, I thought your teeth were slipping. Now listen. The third day out, Greps, my number one boy, sighted the Ngagi escarpment. That must be him. Huh? Yes. Lancelot, look, it's Mr. Blair. Straight up this room, hurry. Here's a comb, Lancelot. Comb your hair. What hair? Oh, dear, I'm so excited, I don't even know my own name. Well, it's not Richard. Open the door. Oh, yes. Be still, my heart. Mr. Blair, I take it. So nice to see you. Come in, won't you? You are Mrs. Higgins? Uh, yes. And uh, who, pray, is this? This is my daughter. My advice to you, madam, is not to take her to Africa in the open season. (laughs) I've hunted things that look better than that. Well, I know she's not pretty, but she's very bright. And well-mannered. And this? Uh, My husband, Mr. Higgins. Ah. Nature, Mrs. Higgins, has indeed been unkind to you. (laughs) So I like that. Come in. Hi, oh, Mr. Blair. I brought you up some lunch. Thanks. It's good, because I take it and on the way up. Yeah, just, just set it on the table and leave. What's this thing over here? That is a beehive. A real one? No, it's a model I use in my lecture. Almost impossible to tell it from the real thing, isn't it? Yeah. I can almost feel those little bees in there. They're stinging me. <laughs> Even those little bees in there that are stinging you are perfect little models. Yes. Now, careful, that glass. You'll break it. No, I won't. Don't touch it. Mrs. Higgins. Mrs. Higgins. Uh, Yes, I'm right here, Mr. Blair. Get this human barnacle of yours away from me. Oh, I'm sorry. Leave Mr. Blair alone, Snoop. And what were you doing prowling around outside my door? I just came up to tell you you're wanted on the telephone. Oh. Well, certainly took you long enough. I came as fast as I could. This is a pretty old make-believe bee house. Those little bees are so cute. I wonder if we'd miss it if I just took one. I'll take this one. Oh, I broke it. What'll I do? Oh, I know. There's another beehive out in the apple tree. I'll get it to him and he won't know the difference. <laughs> ladies, by making reference to this model beehive here. Looks almost real, doesn't it? <laughs> it, uh, it has a hymn somewhere along here. Where is that thing? Be careful, Mr. Blair. There's a bee crawling on your hand. Now, now, now. Let's not let our imaginations run away with us. These are just imitation bees. They... Ah! Ah!
Well, I guess it's safe to go in now. I don't see any cars. The women must have gone home. <laughs> My Vera. Oh, why are you crying? What's the matter, Mummy? Don't you? What's the matter, Mummy? Me? You? Darling, what is it? What's happened? Last month, Higgins, I protected that child many times when you wanted to give her a spanking. But now I want you to give her the licking of her life. Will somebody please tell me what happened? My whole party ruined because that child broke Mr. Blair's bottle of beehive and substituted a real one. It was awful. There were bees all over the place. Well, where's Blair? He left in a rage. He's not staying with us anymore. He's going to Mrs. Jackson. Well, Lancelot, don't stand there. Do something. Snooks. Goodbye, Daddy. Come here. Leave the room, Vera. This is not going to be pretty. Not too hard, Lancelot. Just teach her a good lesson. I'll take care of it. Outside, Vera. This is man's work. Call me when it's over. I'll be in the next room. <laughs> I didn't mean it. It fell down. And I... Quiet, quiet. Here's half a dollar. A half a dollar? Yeah. Now start bawling. But you didn't hit me yet. I'm not going to. But I want your mother to think I am. Now go ahead. Yell loud as though I'm hitting. 